little in life is perfect and peace isn't perfect. Ireland, North or South isn't perfect. There's still bitterness, still mistrust, still people who feel very alienated and oppressed. But peace is peace. It's what the overwhelming majority of us wanted, it's what we voted for, and it's what we got. Stand on the pavement. Get on the pavement. You're, you're the right... I believe that John Hume not only helped bring about the end of the Troubles in the North, he also helped Ireland rethink our entire 700-year relationship with Britain. And there isn't one part of this island that hasn't benefited. We're all better off, safer, more secure. And that's a mark of the greatness of John Hume, not just as an Irishman, but as a human being. I now call upon the Nobel Peace Prize laureate of 1998, John Hume, to come forward to receive the gold medal and the diploma. One small detail about the Nobel Peace Prize that I think says a lot about the man, when you win the Peace Prize, you also get a large check. So what did John Hume do with it? He gave every cent of it to the local hospice in his native Derry. When John started leading sit-down protests in Derry back in the 60s, campaigning for basic civil rights, the crowds would sing, We Shall Overcome, a song made famous by the American Civil Rights Movement and Dr. Martin Luther King. 30 years later, when John Hume, alongside David Trimble, received his Nobel Peace Prize right here, he closed his acceptance speech with that quote from Martin Luther King. We shall overcome. Thank you. And the wonderful thing for John Hume and for us is that he did overcome. After centuries of conflict, he brought peace to this small island of ours. Something, to be honest, I never thought I'd see in my lifetime. That's why all of us should be eternally grateful to him. And that's why, for me, John Hume is Ireland's greatest. Please vote for John Hume.